is Selby Ackman, and from the waist down, I'm wearing pajamas. Today I'm going to talk to you about a group project that I had to do with Artist Love and Shamanica Wilson. The group project is on social media marketing with Airport Grocery in Cleveland, Mississippi. First, I'm going to talk about what social media marketing is. Social media marketing is basically marketing through social media using Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, anything like that. The reasons why people would use social media to market through is because it's cheap, it's easy, and it works really well. You're able to reach such a large group of people with minimal effort. So now let's talk about what Airport Grocery is. Airport Grocery is a restaurant in Cleveland, Mississippi and has been there for a long time, since the Depression. So, of course, people in Cleveland know about it. But that's not who we're trying to get. We're trying to get the people who don't know about it. And because Delta State University is located in Cleveland, Mississippi, we need all of those new students to know about it. Before showing you their Facebook page, there's a couple of things I want to point out first. Number one, it says Airport Grocery Eat Place. Now normally if you're going to be looking up a restaurant on Facebook, you would type Airport Grocery Restaurant. Number two, you have to be accepted before you can join the group. So if I wanted to maybe look at some pictures or the menu before going to the restaurant, it'd be nice to just go ahead and do that immediately instead of having to be accepted into the group. Third, when looking at the page, the first post you will see is from October 26th, which right now is about a month ago. And then the next post you will see was from last Wednesday. And so the first thing you notice is that they don't post often, especially as often as they need to. So the first post is talking about the night specials, which is perfect. That is a great thing to post. But when that was from a month ago, it's not that relevant. Here we see Airport Grocery Eat Place with 2,279 members. And as we move on, we see Jonathan Vance's post on October 26th about that night special. And the next post last Wednesday is talking about celebrating the 25 years with Airport Grocery. Now the posts that they're making are great. That's exactly what you need to talk about. They just definitely need to do it more often and make sure that it is a very open group so you can see what the post is immediately. And of course, posting the menu is like something you need to do for everywhere because people love looking at menus before going to the restaurant. I don't know why, but that's a thing. The next social media outlet I'm going to be talking about is Instagram. I would think Facebook and Instagram are like the top two social media outlets that people use, especially for uh, marketing their products. You see on Facebook and Instagram all the time something that you'll be looking at online, you know, that you're shopping for, and all of a sudden it's right there and you're like, hey, those are those boosts that I was looking at, maybe I should get them. Now before showing you their Instagram page, I will say their setup for it is great. They have a call button if you want to go ahead and call them right then and there. They have a directions button if you don't know where they are and you need directions. Their name is Airport Grocery instead of Airport Grocery Eat Place. But when you go to their page, it does say Airport Grocery Eat Place. So at least they were trying to maintain, you know, keep the um, consistency with their Instagram and their Facebook. Now, but of course, they have that page, and uh, they've had it for over a year, and they only have 42 posts, so they need, need to be posting at least once a week. I would say at least twice to three times a week. They need to get their name out there. The next thing I will say about Instagram is that you need hashtags when marketing with Instagram, mainly because you can just search for a hashtag and everything will pop up that has used that hashtag. So let's say if I'm a Delta State student and I want to see what's going on with the hashtag DSU, if uh, Airport Grocery uses that hashtag with their stuff, I'll be like, oh hey, what is this? I don't know what this is. So I'll look at their pictures, I'll look at their page and think, oh, that's a really cool restaurant. I might want to go there sometime. Here's their Instagram. It says Airport Grocery, Airport Grocery Eat Place. It gives their address. And here's a couple of the pictures they've posted. They're talking about the specials, different events that are going on, just little fun stuff like that. And in this picture, talking about their 25th anniversary, it gives people that are going to be playing there. And then in their uh, caption, they added those hashtags, so overall, which is great is the right and idea perfect. When it comes to social media marketing. And so they just need to post more stuff more often. That is 
the key to all this is you need to be consistent and then you need to be consistent with what you post between your Facebook and your Instagram. Now I do understand that sometimes it's just really difficult to post something every day, every other day, you know, when you're busy running this successful restaurant. So there's this website called Hootsuite.com, H-O-O-T-S-U-I-T-E, not promoting, I swear, just doing my project and uh, it can help you manage what you're going to post each day. So maybe like Monday morning when you're getting ready, you can go ahead and plan out what you want to post throughout the week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you want to post that day's specials, any events that are going to be happening, any deals that you have going on, and that can really help out and it'll post everything for you. That way you aren't busy worrying about, oh my goodness, I haven't posted anything today. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has been informative and it's about 1.15 in the morning. So I think I'm going to go to bed soon. But yes, uh, Airport Grocery is a great restaurant. I even went there not too long ago and I had some like homemade hot tamales and my husband had a steak and it was really good. It was all delicious. And that's something that I can do on Facebook is post about my um, time there and how good the food was. Add some hashtags to help them out a little bit. Um, so thank you for bearing with me. All of this was on my phone. So hope you guys have a good day. Bye!